Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how I painted the top half of this image with the parrot flying through the jungle, keeping the colors nice and sharp with masking fluid. So here I am applying the mask with an old brush. This is my designated tool. This stuff is basically liquid silicone, so if it dries on your brush it'll be destroyed. So make sure you just have one tool to apply the masking fluid. So let that dry completely, and then you can start painting. So here I am washing the sky with cerulean, and I like to use a lot of water to keep it fresh and airy, but also let the pigment kind of dance around a little bit. The masking fluid repels the watercolor, so it allows you to work a little bit quicker instead of having to go around every single feather. So I let that dry, and then I put a background wash of green and ultramarine to start to define some of the jungle plant matter. And here I am defining the background a little bit more. So I'm basically painting the negative space. I'm tracing around the leaves that I want to come forward into the foreground. So I'm darkening that up to kind of differentiate those there. I'm going to take some sap green and cadmium yellow and start to warm up the palm fronds here. This kind of adds a cheery color, but also differentiates it from the cool temperatures of the plant matter below the tree. And I can warm up some of these leaves in the foreground with the same mixture of cadmium yellow and sap green. Then I'll take some burnt sienna and start to define the trunks of the palms a little bit more. And I'll just keep pushing these darks until I'm pretty happy with it. When it's dry, you can take off the masking fluid. So I use the pad of my finger to start getting it rolling, and then it can just peels right off. Then I can add some of the red colors. And since we kept the paper nice and white, these reds will really pop out and be pretty vibrant. If there is green layered below this, the mix of the two would look kind of brown. So this allows us to get really fresh colors. So I'm adding some plumes of cadmium red there. I'll let that dry completely and start to paint the wing feathers with some ultramarine. Then I'm going to let that dry so the colors don't bleed together. And this allows a little bit more definition, the bright colors of this parrot. That's cadmium yellow. Then you can add some fun details. So here I am putting in some line work of the palm fronds and the leaves below. Defining the wing feathers with some violet. And there you go. This painting will be in Joan Cypress's next children's book.